Hello my YouTube family, welcome back to today's video which is going to be a review of a, a foundation and a concealer. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing, I'd love to have you here. As a part of the family, I do beauty videos two to three times a week depending on how my help holds up. So if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing. Okay, what we're gonna do today is the title said, we are going to do a try on test of the new Zoeva Natural Luminous Foundation and the J-Cat Beauty Stay Assurance Waterproof Concealer. Waterproof, smudge-proof concealer, it says, zero smudge. So I really like both of these products and I've been wearing them for over a week. I will tell you ahead of time that I have not had any problems like that. This, it, both of these products are just good. I barely have to use any of the J-Cat Beauty Concealer and it goes on underneath my eyes and covers my under eyes so well. And I have such a struggle with that, but the coverage on this is fantastic. So I really have been enjoying both of these. For me, they both get, you know, two thumbs up. They both hit all the marks that I love about foundation and concealer. The Zoeva, I love how luminous this is. It's just really good. I will say, that if you are on the normal to oily side, you're gonna have to set it down. I have to set it down and I have fairly dry skin. So I would highly recommend both of these. I think that they're just fantastic, but let's get into the demo so that you can see that. Okay, first step of course is to prep the face. So I've already got my skincare done and my good friend Sherry from Graceful Beauty recently talked about the Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect Broad Spectrum SPF 34. This, she just has said, has been a huge game changer for her. She made a whole entire video about it and I will link that below if you guys are interested in it. Really, but its consistency is quite nice. It has got like a little bit of an off-white cast to it. I find that for me, I still need to go in with just a little bit of pore refining around my nose and around my cheeks, chin, and you know, just kind of this T-zone area. So I'm gonna do that with the Revolution. Um, this is their Pore Perfecting Primer. This is like a putty primer, and I'm just going to put that around on the spots that I know that I absolutely definitely have these huge pores. Another step that I never miss for my concealers is from Catrice, and this is the Under Eye Primer. I love this stuff. I've heard both negative and positive about it. However, I think it's just a positive. I love how hydrating it is, how that plumping effect that I do feel underneath my eyes as I'm getting ready. And yeah, for me, that is just a win-win, absolutely. Another thing I'm gonna do is color correct with my LA Girl Peach Color Corrector. I have super, super dark circles. So if you have dark circles too, you might really like to try a color corrector. And then I just dab it in and I let it sit there while I'm doing other things. That way it should kind of, you know, set down on the under eye and then won't interfere with mixing with your concealer and making it a little bit too orange. So with the Zoeva foundation, I wear, I it's called charismatic, but I know it's a cool color. I think it's 090C. So it's a very cool color, but I don't find that it is too cool, if that makes any sense. Because, you know, usually cool colors, they have um, that pink undertone. I don't really find that this is too pink for me. I do like the bottle on this. It is a glass bottle, and I use two pumps on the back of my hand to do my whole face. And then I just dot that around. The reason I use two whole pumps is because of all the discoloration down on my chest. About a pump of that really does go down there on my chest. Okay, now I just take a primer mist or a hydrating setting mist and I spray my sponge with it. This is a Real Technique sponge. I love this thing. It is stained, but it's uh, still good, so I use it. And I spray that. I like to spray my sponge because I feel like I get a little bit more evened coverage. And the other thing is, is I feel like it thins down the foundation a little bit. And it just seems to glide over my skin a little better when I do spray my sponge. Just kind of a tip. The other thing it does is it kind of, if you use a hydrating setting spray, you're kind of mixing hydration with your foundation, which I like. And I'm just going to dab and pat and take a lot of time to work this in. I have a lot of discoloration right on my cheeks, around my nose. And then I have some pretty good age spots right back here. 
Um, I will show those to you a little bit closer up as we get a little bit further so you can see how well it covered or did not cover. And you're just gonna bounce that around. What I like about this foundation the most is its luminous finish. I just think it's just so pretty. And like I said, I worn it for a whole week and I really, really fell in love with it. I just think it's just a really good one for coverage, the way it's covering right now. Hopefully you guys can see all of that. It really isn't like sitting on my skin to where I feel like I have a heavy foundation on my skin. Okay, I'm gonna get really close you guys and hopefully you can see the discoloration and the age spots right through here. And it's still not covering my hyperpigmentation right here on my cheeks. And then here's the other one. I am gonna use about half a pump more, but I'm gonna spray my brush once and then I'm gonna put that half a pump directly onto the sponge. The reason is, is, and then I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit towards the tip. I want a little bit more coverage in these areas, but I personally don't wanna go in with a concealer because for, you know, when I do the concealer trick, it just doesn't quite still look like skin. It looks like I've actually caked up makeup on there. I'm just lightly touching it in order to get a little bit more foundation on there. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna press around those areas that had the parts that were really bothering me. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna cover well, but it's not gonna cover it up to the point to where it doesn't still look like skin. So let me get close again and you should be able to see that it really did help cover that. It also helped get rid of the redness right here and again on this side. So if you have age spots, if you have um, maybe acne scars, anything like that, a little bit on your sponge that gives it a little bit extra and then just kind of dab and don't like continue to dab until it's all wiped away. Beautiful foundation, you guys. I absolutely love this foundation. I think it's so pretty. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap underneath these eyes right here so that none of the color corrector got into the, the fine lines and settled in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a very, very small amount, the smallest amount you can get away with to cover everything. And then we're gonna layer it if we need to. But for right now, we're just going for the minimal amount. So I'm gonna dot ever so slightly on both sides, couple dots. You can always add more, but it's harder to take away. Okay, I like using my fingers because I feel like the warmth of the fingers melds with the product and you get a better blend. That's just my opinion. Lots of people like to use a brush and lots of people like to use the makeup sponge. But for me, this just works better. I seem to not get quite so cakey with the fingers. I hope you guys can see how well this is taking away all of that darkness and it's just looking absolutely gorgeous. I love having a very thin layer. It just looks so much better than having a lot under there and then throughout the day when you smile, your expression lines, your crepiness under there, it can really get to looking very cakey. So for me, it's really important to just have one coat. So that was one coat, you guys. I hope that you can see how good it covered. It did such a good job. You can kind of see from the shine right here, it's quite dewy. I love the luminous effect it gives, but if you're anybody that gets hot, or you get uh, hot flashes at all, which I get them all the time now, it's really hard to not set your makeup. But if I set my makeup at this point, sometimes I'm gonna feel like it's set and then it takes away all that pretty luminosity or it just sets in the pores, it starts to look cakey, all those things you just don't want. So what I've been doing is I've been taking that same spray, it's called Seal the Deal, but this is the hydrating one from Flower Beauty. I love this, I love the mist on it. And you guys, this is just my way of doing things. My sister-in-law actually told me about this. And that, so I've been trying this out and it's just been working really well. I'm gonna really douse my, my face here with this stuff. And then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna buff it a little bit with powder and you guys should be able to see what it looks like. So let me do this. Now I'm just gonna get my fan out. I'm gonna dry that down. And then before I start in with powder, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at my under eyes and make sure that nothing's settled. And then I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I love this powder and I'm just gonna use a fluffy, domed brush from It Cosmetics. So I'm gonna just dip my brush into the powder, tap any excess off. I'm gonna start down here with my neck 
and I'm going to buff my neck really well because like I said, I put a lot of makeup down there because I have so much discoloration. And then I'm going to start on the jawline. I work upwards. I like to start from the bottom and go up. And the other thing is every time, because I know that what's just happened is, you know, I've just sprayed my face. So I'm going to go into any of those crevices that collect and I'm just going to tap them to make sure that when I put my powder in there, there's not gonna be a bunch of excess gathering of the makeup or the powder or anything when I do that. And so I'm just kind of buffing across everywhere. I'm not gonna do right here on my cheeks because that's where my cheek makeup goes, but everywhere else is gonna get buffed out real good. And then I'm gonna ever so lightly just buff across that concealer, not with extra powder on my brush. I'm I, just buffing under the eyes, or not even really buffing, just kind of tapping and setting underneath the eyes. Okay, you guys, I wanna show you how that looks all the way around there. Now, normally the very last step that I would do would be a step after everything's done. But for the sake of this being just a foundation concealer tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and spray my skin. And this is with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. You can hear that ball rolling around. That's mixing particles. So I just feel like this is a really important step for me to bring back any luminosity or any dewy look to my skin that that loose setting powder took away. And I'm not doing a lot of this. You can almost see immediately what that setting spray does to the skin. It gives it a really nice glow. I wanted to show you what I do with the Lancome Absolute Powder. I put this in my favorites this month. I put the setting spray in my favorites this month. This is the routine that I've been doing lately that I just love. So I dip a fluffy brush. This is just a fluffy one I got from e.l.f. for like $10, I think, and I really love it. So this is just a very, very light, very soft, fluffy brush. And I'm getting just a little bit of that powder onto that brush. And I'm just gonna tap along where the high points are and you know, kind of buff that out just a little bit just to liven up the face. It's almost like you're doing a bronzer type sweeping motion. So it's really light, it's really airy. Then you can take whatever's left on the brush and go into your whole entire face if you want to. The last step is not necessary and I know that the Lancome is expensive and I know the spray is expensive. If you are somebody that is looking for something that is a little bit less expensive than the spray, Go ahead and try the L'Oreal uh, Glow Spray, I think it is. I'll make sure that I link it below. Also, if you're looking for something less expensive than the Absolute Powder, you can try the uh, Flower Beauty Glow Powder. That's really good too. So I'll link both of those below so that you guys know. All right, you guys, that is how everything looks after I put on the whole face. I am doing another kind of demo for you guys on the new It Girl beauty book that they put out every year. So if you're interested in how I got the look, that's going to be up. If it's already up, I'll make sure I link it below. It is really a good foundation and a good concealer for giving me a bare minimum of eight to 10 hours. I just feel like it's just so pretty, even at that mark. Now at that mark, I start to wear down for the day. I don't really ever wear my foundations for 12 to 16 hours personally, but I have worn these for one time for a total of 12 hours and it still did look pretty good. I did get a little separating around my nose and a little bit right here on my chin. I get that with almost every foundation though. It's not something that I can really get away from. As far as the J-Cat concealer, I have extreme, and I do mean extreme, laugh lines underneath my eyes. So, you know, occasionally during the day, if I have on other concealers, I will have to just pat with my finger to kind of freshen it up. I haven't found that to be the case with this one as far as it creasing. Now, now, again, I haven't worn it in super hot climate at all, but the climate that is right now, which is going on, you know, fall into winter has just been really good for it. So that's everything for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And again, please consider subscribing if you're new. I'd love to have you be a part of our little family that we have here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everyone take care of yourselves. See you all in my next video. Love ya. Bye-bye.